Hey guys, update on the uh, 200 plus or bust project. I got TP47, uh, excuse me, TP4070 mounted up in here, and of course the XLX2. Body pieces have been uh, kind of roughed in with body filler and primer. There's some uh, grooves in here I still got to fill in. These marks are just where the primer was shooting out extra pigment. But uh, anyway, that's the body's coming along. This is coming along uh, mostly. Um, so real quick before I talk about the problems, I'll show you just kind of the idea of why I built things the way I did. Um, as you can see here, the the motor wires fit directly into the ESC, and then of course um, lipos are going to sit right here. So the goal was that every wire can just be incredibly short. That's going to help reduce any sort of ripple in the system. It's also going to help with current flow, um, and that's where I've got a little bit of concern when I had design this system I have some gearing here but the the pulleys were going to be one to one so I was going to have a 40 tooth um, which is bigger than 40 millimeters that would allow the belt to go above and below the motor so it would be plenty of room to, to reach the front and um, so to get everything to work with one to one ratios here and this is pretty it, these had to be big gears so that they could actually touch because this has to be far enough away from a pretty large pulley that would get that belt over the motor. Um, so this was around 800 kV, it's a 780. Um, if you're familiar with motors and the wiring involved to make certain kVs happen, lower kV is often done by having smaller, thinner wires, but there's more windings inside the motor. Um, I've had lots of motors from like around 4,000 kV down to 1,400 kV on a, a TP5660, you know, fifth scale motor. Um, I didn't expect these wires to be so small. Right away I could feel it in this casing. It's just loose. And if you look at these, um, they're just tiny. If you look at, you know, how they sit in the eight millimeter cup there I mean, they're absolutely tiny there's just no way this is going to handle amperage uh, and you you can run a motor that's rated at 260 amps you can run it at 500 amps and they do okay but that is just unbelievably small um, i just don't feel comfortable doing it i think it'll burn something up you know either the connection at the ESC or the motor itself. Um, so, I've got to go back to the drawing board. I'm going to get something in between 1400 and 1700 kV, and then I'm going to need to do, because I, I don't have a lot of room here unless I went with belt drive on this end, which I don't want to. Uh, so that means I've got to get a bigger, you can call it a spur, um, here and then, um, or sorry, the other way around, smaller here and, and bigger there on the axles. Um, try to try to make it work. The the issue I have is getting a belt the specific length. Um, you know, it was all sort of calculated from the beginning to work with this KV motor. So um, there's not a lot of options when it comes to belt in these specific lengths. Um, as far as the front, it, it's going to be sort of like a dog bone setup. And, uh, you know, previously in some of the videos I hadn't been showing it, but I said, screw it, you know what, I want people to build things and make things, so here it is. These are Arma 6S knuckles, and the, um, the lighting's not great here, but the, the axle stub is a rear axle stub so it's not a CVD like you'd normally have on the front so the um, 
the way that'll work is it, it'll work just like a dog bone. So I'll have a, you know, the eight millimeter shaft through here with a pin going through it. And I'd gotten started on that. This this rod, um, unlike the others I'd use, these are case hardened, chromoly plated. They're bare, <laughs> so difficult to drill through. But um, this rod here is a titanium. Basically, it gets your three millimeter hole through there. I've got some uh, three millimeter pins that will go through here. I guess actually that's undersized. It's a 2.8 or 2.9. And then um, found this tool and a, a guy on the Arma forum has a write up about how he was changing pins on the dog bones and uh, this tool can, can do that. You can press it in with this sort of a, it's not a hex, it's like a security torque spit, it looks like. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with the belt drive pulleys and then get a different motor because I, I just don't like that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to settle for that. All right, um, as always, thank you guys for subscribing, for staying tuned, and uh, I'll give as many updates as I can. I want to encourage people to build things, make things, so I'm not going to be hiding my gearing, my KV, whatever, you know. If you want to make this, try it, man. I'll, I'll help you out as, in whatever way I can. Thank you.